Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from our channel who died today. In this video we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities WHO died the same year they won an Oscar. Before we proceed we kindly ask you to show your love and support by like, share, and subscribe to update newest videos. Now get start. Number 1 Peter Finch. Peter Finch was born on September 28, 1916, and died on January 14, 1977. Born in London, England, Peter Finch was a distinguished actor known for his powerful performances in both British and American cinema. His career spanned over three decades, during which he delivered acclaimed performances in films such as, A Town Like Alice, The Nun Story, and most famously, Network. For his role as the unhinged television anchor Howard Beale in, Network, Finch. Won the Academy Award for Best Actor making history as the first actor to win a posthumous Oscar in an acting category. Finch was married three times and had several children. Finch was renowned for his intense and compelling performances. His portrayal in Network remains one of the most iconic in film history, capturing the zeitgeist of the time. He received multiple awards and nominations throughout his career. Peter Finch died of a heart attack. Finch's legacy in the film industry is marked by his versatility and intensity as an actor. His posthumous Oscar win for, Network, underlined his extraordinary talent. He remains a celebrated figure in cinema, remembered for his ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity. Number 2 Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger was born on April 4, 1979, and died on January 22, 2008. Born in Perth, Western Australia, Heath Ledger was an Australian actor and director. He rose to fame with his performances in, 10 Things I Hate About You, The Patriot, and, Brokeback Mountain, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. Ledger is perhaps best known for his portrayal of the Joker in, The Dark Knight, a performance that earned him widespread acclaim and a posthumous Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Ledger had a daughter with actress Michelle Williams. Ledger was known for his commitment to his roles and his ability to immerse himself completely into his characters. His portrayal of the Joker is considered one of the greatest performances in film history. Heath Ledger died from an accidental overdose of prescription medication. Ledger's legacy is defined by his profound impact on the film industry despite his short career. His portrayal of the Joker has become iconic, influencing the portrayal of villains in cinema. He is remembered for his extraordinary talent and the intensity he brought to each role. Number 3 Douglas Fairbanks Douglas Fairbanks was born on May 23, 1883, and died on December 12, 1939. Born Douglas Elton Thomas Ullman in Denver, Colorado, Douglas Fairbanks was an American actor, screenwriter, director, and producer. He was one of Hollywood's biggest stars in the silent film era, known for his roles in classic films like The Mark of Zorro, Robin Hood, and The Thief of Baghdad. Fairbanks was renowned for his swashbuckling roles and his incredible athleticism. Fairbanks was married three times, including to actresses Mary Pickford and Joan Crawford. Fairbanks was a founding member of United Artists Film Studio and the Motion Picture Academy. He was instrumental in the development of the Hollywood film industry. Douglas Fairbanks died of a heart attack. Fairbanks is remembered as a pioneer of the action-adventure genre in cinema. His charismatic screen presence and his contributions to the film industry have cemented his status as one of the legendary figures in Hollywood history. Number 4 Malik Benjaloul. Malik Benjaloul was born on September 14, 1977, and died on May 13, 2014. Born in Eastid, Sweden, Malik Benjaloul was a Swedish documentary filmmaker, known for his critically acclaimed film, Searching for Sugar Man. The film, which was Benjaloul's debut, won numerous awards, including the Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature in 2013. It focused on the efforts of two fans to find out if the rumored death of American musician Sixto Rodriguez was true. Prior to his work on, Searching for Sugar Man, Benjaloul was involved in Swedish television and music. Benjaloul's personal life was relatively private, and little is known about his family. Searching for Sugar Man received widespread acclaim for its heartwarming storytelling and innovative use of storytelling techniques. It won several awards and brought international attention to the music of Rodriguez. Malik Benjaloul died by suicide. Malik Benjaloul is remembered for his remarkable contribution to documentary filmmaking. 
Searching for Sugar Man, remains a testament to his talent in storytelling and his ability to connect with audiences worldwide. Number 5 Conrad L. Hall. Conrad L. Hall was born on June 21, 1926, and died on January 4, 2003. Born in Papeete, Tahiti, French Polynesia, Conrad L. Hall was an American cinematographer. Hall is widely regarded as one of the greatest cinematographers in the history of American cinema. He worked on numerous classic films, including Cool Hand Luke, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, American Beauty, and Road to Perdition. Known for his innovative lighting techniques and ability to create atmospheric visuals, Hall's work significantly contributed to the visual storytelling of each film he worked on. Hall was married and had children. Over his career, Hall was nominated for 10 Academy Awards, winning three for Best Cinematography for Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, American Beauty, and posthumously for Road to Perdition. His work influenced generations of cinematographers and filmmakers. Cause of death. Conrad L. Hall died of complications from bladder cancer. Hall's legacy lies in his visually stunning and emotionally resonant cinematography, which has left an indelible mark on American cinema. His innovative techniques and artistic vision continue to inspire cinematographers and directors alike. Number 6 Audrey Hepburn Audrey Hepburn was born on May 4, 1929, and died on January 20, 1993. Audrey Hepburn was a British actress and humanitarian. Born in Ixelles, Brussels, Belgium, she rose to stardom in the golden age of Hollywood. Known for her elegance, grace, and beauty, Hepburn became one of the most iconic actresses of her era. Her notable films include, Roman Holiday, Sabrina, Breakfast at Tiffany's, My Fair Lady, and, Wait Until Dark. Hepburn's performances were marked by her charm, wit, and depth. Hepburn was married twice and had two sons. Contributions and Achievements Hepburn won an Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in, Roman Holiday. She was also a dedicated humanitarian, working as a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF in her later years. Her contributions to humanitarian causes were significant and heartfelt. Audrey Hepburn died of appendiceal cancer. Audrey Hepburn is remembered not only as a film icon but also for her humanitarian work. Her timeless elegance, style, and compassion have made her an enduring figure in both the entertainment industry and in humanitarian efforts. She remains a symbol of grace and philanthropy. Number 7 Edward G. Robinson Edward G. Robinson was born on December 12, 1893, and died on January 26, 1973. Born Emanuel Goldenberg in Bucharest, Romania, Edward G. Robinson was an American actor who became a major star in Hollywood during its golden age. He is best remembered for his portrayal of tough guys and gangsters, most notably in the classic film, Little Caesar, 1931. Robinson's career spanned over five decades, during which he appeared in over 100 films across various genres. Despite being typecast as a gangster early in his career, Robinson displayed his versatility by taking on roles in dramas, comedies, and historical films. He was known for his distinctive voice and on-screen presence. Robinson was married twice and had one son. Robinson's portrayal of gangster characters influenced the development of the gangster film genre in American cinema. He received an Honorary Academy Award in 1973 for his contributions to the film industry. Edward G. Robinson died of bladder cancer. Robinson is remembered as one of the great actors of American cinema, notable for his ability to bring depth and complexity to a range of characters. His influence on the gangster genre and his contributions to film make him a celebrated figure in Hollywood history. Remember, each day is an opportunity to make a positive impact just like those we talked about today. Let's cherish their memories and continue to be inspired by their legacies. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.